Hello and welcome to Fashion Report Friday, the weekly video series trying to get you the most MGP possible from the Mandeville Gold Saucer every Friday when judging begins. This is week 310 and the theme is Steadfast Sheriff. The individual clues for those slots include the wild side for our helm, up a long sleeve for our chest, robed in resistance for our legs, and in the fold for our boots. In this video, we have a 100 score, an 80 with dies, and the easiest 80 possible. For the 100 score then, I personally went for the Anemos hat. This is something you can get from Anemos lockboxes, acquired from Anemos spoils in Eureka Anemos, or alternatively the market board. Other slots that will work for this include the Wrangler's Hat, an item that drops in Saw Kai or Holebreaker Isle on hard mode, both easily unsinkable. And of course, we've got the Gayuki Leather Hat, acquired from Muto in Kagane for around 15,000 gil, or the Gagana Skin Hat of Aiming from Norlays in the Pillars of Ishgard. All of those will work quite well. For the chest piece, I personally went for the winter sweater. This is a basic weaver craft. Alternatives to this include the adventuring sweater, which is quite similar in design, but slightly more difficult if I remember. We've got the ruby cotton gambeson, which is unfortunately locked to Disciple of War and, of course, um, aiming classes. Uh, you can get that from Muto in Kagane if you wish. The Anemos gambeson should also work, and I believe the Favnerian wool autumn shirt will work as well for gold. For the legs then, unfortunately, the mainstay of this is the Bosgian breeches. This can be any Bosgian breeches or Bosgian polens, I think they're called, of striking, scouting, aiming, fending or maiming. You can get these from obviously the Bosgian southern front for 28 of the Bosgian coins from the vendor there, the resistance vendor. Uh, quite cheap, coins aren't that hard to get but of course if you don't want to do the Bostian southern front there are other ways of doing this including getting the filibusters any of the class um, related ones for filibusters x of those legs from Belsa's wall or some are hard mode or you can also apparently go for the royal volunteers legs of any class from the Burn Dungeon and St. Marcian's Arboretum on Hard. I have not confirmed the latter of those items, only that the Bosgian ones obviously work, because that's what I'm wearing. For the feet then, this is a very easy slot. Um, there are two great choices here. If you have completed part of the MSQ early on in the game, you will gain access to the Scion Adventurer Boots. This is from the MSQ quest The Greater Abessians, and you can get these back from a Calamity Salvager for 100 gil if you need to. Alternative slot that would work includes the Leather Shoes. You can get this from any low-level city-state armor vendor, such as Gwalter in Uldar, and of course, that uh, is a really great option accessible to a lot of people in the game. And I don't think we necessarily need to go to other alternatives, yet there are others that will work, including the Tantalus boots. And I also believe the Dragon Skin boots will work as well. That's the 100 score. Not too bad this week, apart from the legs, but there are ways around that. But let's move on to a very easy die option. So first of all, you'll see that we've got two russet brown dies, firstly on a weapon and firstly on any helm in the game. Um, make sure you have something equipped in every slot, by the way, if you haven't already, or this won't work. Russet Brown on weapon, Russet Brown on helm, both of those from NPC die vendors such as Nanabe and Uldar. Then, of course, we have um, our, on our chest piece, Lilac Purple, along with our legs and our feet, Lilac Purple as well. That's actually from the Sahagin vendor, the 216 gil. Uh, we also have, I forgot to mention, the other Russet Brown, the third Russet Brown on any gloves in the game. In total, I believe we're going to be spending, what, under just under 4,000 gil for those dies. And, um, you know, if you have access to the Sahagin vendor, which free trial players do, and of course the NPC vendors in towns, which free trial players do, this might be your best choice. 
Let's move on to the Easy 80, however, where we can easily see that we've gone for Russet Brown Die on any helm in the game, Russet Brown Die on any hands in the game, and then we've equipped those leather shoes. This is because not everybody will have completed the quest, the Greater Obeisance for the Scion Adventurer Boots, which normally would be my go-to choice here. So the leather shoes are the best option because they're NPC vendor purchased from Gwalter or any other low-level city-state armor vendor for 115 gil, accessible to any class or job. So two very easily purchased dies from an NPC vendor and leather shoes. Very easy. Make sure you have something equipped in every other slot though, including your right side. Uh, make sure you have accessories equipped uh, to make sure that this works. Very easy. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, feel free to follow the channel. I'll be doing lots of Final Fantasy content, especially this weekend with the upcoming Tokyo Fan Fest coverage. Much love, and I'll see you all next time.